All right, Jeff, thank you. 517 this morning. COVID on the rise again, unfortunately. Hospitalizations are the highest they have been since March. Average daily cases have more than tripled in the past three months. That's according to Johns Hopkins University. Johns Hopkins also found the number of average daily deaths has surpassed 400 for the first time in two months. More than half the U.S. population lives in a county with a high level of community transmission. And this morning, we're tracking data on the COVID-19 vaccine for young children. Yeah, late last month, the federal government authorized the vaccine for people from six months to five years old. Those youngest kids had been waiting for quite a while for that. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan joined us live with a look at that vaccine vaccination rate. Charlie, good morning. We talked about those high vaccine or those high transmission rates. We're in that right now in the Kansas City area. So how important is it for this youngest age group to get those shots? Yeah, pediatricians here at the University of Kansas Health System says it is critical for those young children to get this COVID-19 vaccine. And really, the latest data so far shows only about 3% of children from that six months to five years age range have started their vaccine regimen. Of course, these doctors at the hospital behind me are hoping more parents sign their children up for that uh, option. The psycho uh, pediatricians here say that the Omicron variants in particular have been leading to more severe symptoms for children, making that vaccine easier even more necessary or critical. One pediatrician said that the risks of contracting COVID-19, of your child contracting COVID-19, far outweigh any risks associated with the vaccine. And just yesterday, a psychologist here at KU Hospital brought her five-year-old daughter to the hospital to receive her first dose of that vaccine. The five-year-old's older siblings already started the vaccine regimen. But we heard from that psychologist about why she wants all of her children to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Take a listen. We wanted to make sure that we got them um, as safe as possible. They have all their other vaccines. They wear seat belts when they're in the car. They wear a helmet on their bicycle. So we do things to keep them safe. And this is another measure to keep them safe. And Dr. Johnson, who you just heard from, said she has faith in the medical community. She says that she wanted to really make sure her children got the COVID-19 vaccine before the start of this upcoming school year. And Lindsay and Taylor, doctors say there's no need to really space out the COVID-19 vaccine and those back-to-school vaccines for mm. your children. You can do them all at the same time. So, Charlie, what about grown-ups here? Because we know cases and hospitalizations are rising it may have been several months since some adults have had their last vaccine. What, what are the advice right now from doctors on what to do? Yeah, we heard from the chief medical officer here at the uh, University of Kansas Health System. He says, of course, make sure you're vaccinated, but definitely follow it up with that booster shot. To your point, it's been uh, months, months, maybe even a year since some people first had their vaccine. He says that booster is so important. And he says, if you're still concerned, you can start making those behavioral changes, avoiding large crowds, wearing a mask when you're indoors at places like uh, the grocery store, things like that. He says nothing uh, along those lines is out of bounds at this time. All right, Charlie Keegan live for us this morning. Charlie, thank you very much.